going to describe how to make a kill jar for collecting insects for NAG 231s. Here's an example of a finished kill jar with plaster in the bottom. You'll see that it's a medium sized mason jar. Usually we like to have a medium sized jar or a large jar to make this work best. We also have some plaster paris here, so we'll be pouring plaster paris in the bottom of the jar and using that as an absorbent for our nail polish removal uh, product here that will provide a, a poison for the insects to die within the jar. So we've got our mason jar here, and the first step in creating the kill jar is to pour our plaster in the bottom of the kill jar. We we'll want this to be about a half inch thick when we add water to the plaster and have it set up. And again, the, the reason for putting the plaster in the jar is because it can act as a, an absorbent for the ethyl acetate, which we find in the nail polish remover, um, so that that creates kind of a toxic fume for, for the uh, living insect, and we're able to then uh, kill the insect in the jar. Otherwise, if we just have the ethyl acetate at the bottom, then it'll stay wet and we will end up having a deterioration of our insect instead of keeping it intact. So now we'll have to wait for that to set up. So after you make the plaster of Paris in the bottom of the jar, we see we've got about, oh, half an inch or so of plaster of Paris in the bottom there. We're ready for our nail polish remover. And basically this is just ethyl acetate that will be used as a, a small poison to kill the insects. So for this, we're just adding a little bit of this into here. Just a couple, a couple of dribbles swirling around a bit and then that will set up and provide us for our uh, poison for the insects and of course after this we we'll want to go ahead and put the jar on top like that. However, uh, taking a look at how you take the insect from the net into the jar, of course you've got your, uh, your aerial net here and assuming that you've got an insect in the bottom of the net, maybe caught like this so that they can't get out you would then kind of take the jar, open the jar, your kill jar, and then just kind of feed the net slowly in to the kill jar so that the insect doesn't have a chance to escape. So if the insect's in there, you do that, and then you just quickly put the lid back on the jar. So in a nutshell, that's what you would do for creating a kill jar and for collecting insects for your insect collection. We'll see you in Ed Ag 231.